breathing. Breathing is the primary function of the diaphragm and it affects the pH of the body. It is safe to say that if we don't breathe for three minutes, we will die. The exception to the rule are free divers who have been extensively trained to hold their breath in order to dive to great depths in the ocean. Now, what sort of breather are you? When clients come and visit me, they usually show their breath as either short and sharp, sharp and shallow up in the neck area, which is associated with fear and makes them a chest breather, or they're an abdomen breather, which is where the belly goes first. So I would like you to stand in front of the mirror, put one hand onto your chest, one hand onto your belly, and just close your eyes. And I want you to observe the breath. Notice which moves first, is it the chest or is it the belly? Now technically two thirds of the breath should start in the belly and the final third should go up into the diaphragm. And this goes to all movement methods and all running, or breathing, standing, everything. So the breath starts from the bottom and works up. It's impossible to isolate and just talk about diaphragmatic breathing. We need to use the belly as well. 70 to 75 percent of visits to the GP in the UK are associated with breath related problems or chest problems. So we're going to do a little exercise now. Keeping one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly I want you to close your eyes and I want you to observe one inhale and one exhale. Now one inhale and one exhale equals one breath. We're going to count how many breaths per minute. And this will give you an idea of where you are on your stress levels and your health levels. So I'm going to time you. So I'd like you to start your breath in the next five seconds. After five, four, three, two, one. Off you go. starting to come to an end now and stop so just count how many breaths there are per minute so for example if you're 15 to 20 breaths I would say you're highly stressed you may also be on some medication which is raising that breath and heart rate 10 to 15 is about average 5 to 10 is brilliant and 0 to 5 is outstanding and I'd expect to see 0 to 5 breaths per minute and in an elite athlete or a yogi. Now there's an unusual lizard which goes around across the world which only takes one breath per minute and in ancient Indian and Buddhist philosophy they say the more breaths that we take the quicker to our deathbed we go, the less breaths we take the longer we live and I do believe that there's a lot of truth in that. I would also like to mention that when we are very, very stressed, we're living in a state of sympathetic dominance all the time. So the body's in a state of fight or flight all the time. So the breath becomes short and sharp and shallow. So next time you get into a stressful situation, an argument with your boss, with your family, or you're driving along, just notice and observe your breath. 